looks like it's gonna be a lovely day. Uh, we had a good rain last night, which hopefully will green up the pasture. Uh, but first things first, I gotta feed the bottle lamb. The bottle lamb has graduated uh, to being out in the barn now. Uh, partly because the diapers were starting to fall off of her and uh, stuff. And then today's uh, project, today's project. So I picked, I picked these up uh, from online. And what they are are pretty much like roll out nest boxes. And I'm thinking in the barn of, of uh, using like one by fours uh, to sort of box it in. And then you just sort of drop those in. And then the bottom would be completely open so that any poop or debris could just drop right through. Then the rollout part, I'd build a platform or a, kind of like a box that would be on the outside. That way it rolls all the eggs away from there. Um, and so I'm gonna see how far I can get along on that project today, but let's first go feed the bottle lamb. There she is. Okay, you guys can come over here. Marshall, stay. Come on, sheep. Come on, sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. Come on. Good. Good job, sheep. Come on. Buttercup, you can come too. Want to come, Buttercup? No, Marshall. Good boy. Good boy. There we go. Oh. One of these days, I need to figure out why when I hook this up, I kind of get a little tingle shock. Like I'm not really seeing where this part is uh, conducting electricity into it, but I gotta figure out someday. So they're over there getting some grain and I'm trying to find her to give her some milk. opening up the gate so that then they can have access to the rest of the pasture and if you're looking at this this is starting to green up pretty nicely I did mow a good portion of this and uh, I'm gonna take a machete and knock down some of that those twigs and stuff over there see if I can get that down and she does not leave my side when I'm out here Well, she's uh, still following me. I gotta go get the machete. I gotta clear out this chicken run, this chicken coop in the barn. So this is where I'm gonna be doing some of the work. So just nudging them along. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, go out, going out. 
Go on out. Go on, go on out. Uh, one with the white tail. I always think of Corella DeVille. Uh, I know DeVille did not make a good name for him. Okay, they're almost got a few more. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Uh, come on. Come on. Uh, gotta get these stragglers. I know, Rooster, you're concerned about your ladies. Come on, go, 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 go. Go, go. Come on. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Remember this. And we'll shut that. And then this whole area should be good to work on after I get some supplies. So I got the machete and I'm gonna try to see how I can keep some distance from the lamb and carefully knock down some additional uh, growth weeds. Let's see, uh, the rest of the sheep are over there on the South Lawn. Well, that's pretty good so that will at least allow for the sheep to get in there and keep it all trimmed down buttercup come here girl Come on, Buttercup. You wanna go? Come on. Come on, go. 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 Come on, go. There we go. Good girl. I gotta walk in here and abandon her so that she'll go back with the flock. Nope, 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 nope. You gotta stay. I think she's been kind of bonding with Marshall. One of my future projects is kind of making a barn medicine cabinet here because this point is 
centrally located that when I have animals in the barn, uh, I got my tagging, I got my trimming, I got my iodine, dewormer, all that stuff would be nice to just be an enclosed thing right here. So now I need to go to the hardware store, get some chicken feed and some one by four boards to start on the next project. Well, I'm here at the hardware store. I'm gonna get a uh, chicken feed and the one by four boards for the nesting box project. So. <sighs> Okay, let's get started. Let's get started on this project. So after about an hour of cleaning this area out, we are ready to start building. But before we build, I need to remove this silo that I had built. The initial idea was great, but the implementation was bad. This would require to lift a 50 pound bag this high up on a ladder and it's not that beneficial. So I'm gonna get it out of the way and then we're gonna put the nest boxes on the inside about that high. So let's get going. As you can see, I ended up pulling off some rotted out boards. I'm going to fill in the gaps, sure that up, and then we'll get to building this.
I found these online for about, I think $6.99, and they're rollout nest boxes. And my thought is, if I build a frame, they can sit down in it, then I'll put them on the inside, and then the eggs will roll out, and then any debris will fall down below this. Uh, so I'm first going to uh, build one end, and then sort of work my way down because uh, I don't exactly know how long it will be. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this end a little bit long. Okay.
gonna go ahead and leave it like that. I'm gonna put something on the outside to catch it. And then I'm gonna put a wise cam in place just to see before I finish out these other three of whether or not that works well or if I need to change anything. Okay, I just have this set up out here. I'm gonna do a test drop with the egg. Okay, it looks like I need to cut a little bit wider. Okay. Here is egg drop test number two. Ah. What did it? Okay. Looks like I need to cut that opening bigger and we should be good. Okay, here we go. That looks good. Put these in place, set up the wise cam, and then we will observe it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, that's gonna be a wrap. Um, I'm going to do some testing with the wise cam inside in order to see if I need to modify it before I build out the other three. Uh, but what would be cool is then I should be able to put a wise cam here, aim down, and then I'll be able to know uh, the motion event of when they're laying the eggs, which I think is pretty cool. So I have to go get ready for a procedure uh, that I'm having done. And until next time, make sure to subscribe to the Farmer Brad channel. And I'm trying to do one weekly vlog and one topic video per week. Uh, so until next time, have a great day.